Hi, my name is Gazal. I'm a master's student in the Department of Engineering Science here at Simon Fraser University. I'm supervised by Dr. Faisal Beck, and the title of my presentation is Artificial Intelligence, the Alzheimer's Disease Fortune Teller. Imagine the scenario. You walk into a room full of strangers. They come and say hi to you. They talk to you as if they've known you for a really long time, but they don't seem to recognize them. You speak with them and you realize all of these people are your friends and family that you're having trouble remembering. Imagine how shocking that would be. You don't remember your own friends and family? How's that even possible? Well, unfortunately, this can be the reality for more than 44 million people all around the world who are living with Alzheimer's disease. 44 million people, that is more than the total population of Canada. Let that sink in. Now, what's worse is that Alzheimer's disease does not have a cure. And all of these changes that happen to the brain and body as a result of this disease are irreversible, and we cannot do anything about them. I just gave you the bad news. So what's the good news? What can we do about it? Fortunately, there are some things that can be done. For example, we can try to predict the disease before it actually happens. And this is exactly what I'm doing in my master's thesis. I use artificial intelligence, this smart machine that has the ability to learn information the way that humans cannot do. I use this machine to find the relationship between a patient's input data and Alzheimer's disease. This input data can be different things. For example, brain MRI data, genetic data, or lifestyle factors such as age, education, or the overall health. After my machine is done learning all of this information, I use it to predict two things. The first thing is the chance of developing Alzheimer's disease in the future. My machine gives me this number between zero and one that shows the likelihood of developing Alzheimer's disease in the future. If this number is closer to one, it means that my subject is highly likely to develop Alzheimer's disease in the future. While if this number is closer to zero, it means that my subject is not at risk. The second thing is the time it takes for a patient to develop Alzheimer's disease. It might take a patient five years or another patient 10 years to develop Alzheimer's disease, while another patient might not be even at risk of developing it. Now, let's talk about the impact of my research. Why is it important? Imagine a patient goes to a clinic and after doing some tests, they know whether or not they're going to develop Alzheimer's disease in the future and when exactly this is going to happen. With this information at hand, they're going to have enough time to plan ahead for the future. And hopefully using preventative measures already available, they can avoid extreme consequences. At the same time, caretakers will have enough time to plan for the best treatment option for each individual patient. Thank you.